I am currently working on the third chapter of the Alive course where we are working with the squirrel rig and I was curious if I could use this in Cascader. I couldn't find much information about how to rig animals so I thought I would share my process. The first step is to clean up the rig in Blender. I only want the deformation bones and the root bone so I wanted to make sure that only these bones have the deformation option selected. So first I made every bone selectable in the outliner, then I hit the bone layer for the deformation bones and the root bone and selected every visible bone. And by alt left clicking I can turn off deformation for all selected bones. In Cascader it's important to have the correct bone hierarchy. Uh, with this rig the parent for every deformation bone is the root bone. So I changed it that the root is the parent of the hip bone, then going up the spine, parenting each bone to the previous one. The front legs are parented to the chest, the back legs are parented to the hips, and the ears and the nose are the child of the head bone. Cascada uses centimeter for scale, so as they suggest on their side, I changed the scale to 0.01 and the unit length to centimeter. But now the squirrel became tiny. First, I had to scale up the armature by 100. Now the dimensions are correct, so apply the scale. And if I check the scale for the mesh, it has also 100 times scale now. So I should apply that too. Finally I can export the character. In the export settings I only selected the apply transform and export only the form bone options. Other settings are pretty much the default. So after importing the character I realized that the leaf bones are too big compared to the size of the squirrel. But it's possible to reduce their size in the settings. The first thing after opening the rigging tool is to set the character mirror plane, in this case to YZ. I initially just created the rig elements and I set the characteristics for each one later. I started from the hip going up the spine. I wanted to create the chest, neck and head elements at the same time, but since the head has three children, I had to define the next joint, which in this case is the nose. For the legs and the tail there is nothing special, but I will get back how to create the pole targets for them. I quickly fixed the size of rigid bodies and the scale of the box controllers for each joint, and then I defined the mass for each rigid body. Uh, here are the values that I used. An adult red squirrel is around 330 grams according to Google, but I couldn't find any information how much each squirrel body part should weigh. So I just guessed basically and I tried to keep the sum at uh, 0.32 kilos. For the ears and the nose I only added box controller since their weight is negligible. That's, that's pretty negligible. Before mirroring the limbs to the right side I wanted to correct a few things. I moved the additional point controller of the leg uh, to the side and created an edge between the last point control of the feet and this additional point controller. This edge doesn't add any function, but it's visually more clear in my opinion. To create the pole target, select the two rigid bodies and click Union to hinge under Hinge Action menu. If the pole target is too far away, like in this case, you can bring them closer under the Proto Union behavior. Just make sure that you have both rigid bodies still selected. Finally, I can mirror the limbs, so I have to select every rig element of the legs by double clicking on the first rigid body of each limb. Set the mirror plane to YZ 
and uh, set the suffix according to both suffixes in, in this case the current suffix for the left side is dot l and the mirrored ones are dot r when i try to finalize the rig i run into an error because the heap can start at the same position as the tail for some reason so I just moved uh, the first tail controller a tiny bit which moved the whole chain but it shouldn't affect the final result that much finally the rig is finished but the back legs seems to be broken since the back legs in the rest pose are underground and I forgot to fix it before they are colliding with the floor and Cascader tries to fix it and that's why they look so weird. I just manually rotated them and positioned them above the ground and at the end mirrored them to the other side. Now the rig is actually ready and I can use for example the tail mode to bend the tail nicely, rotate the head around the nose or work with the center of mass of the squirrel.